prior to joining Naive, you released eight albums on other labels. Uh, with Naive, we did together three albums, Cello 360, with whom we won a Gramophone Award uh, two years ago, uh, Wonderful World, and Legacy. How do you define the difference of collaboration between your former labels and Naive and Believe Now? I would say it's totally not the same approach. Um, what I like about Naive is the fact that you are um, totally free in the discussion. In when I arrive and speak with you and be all, with all the team, there is this um, way to listen to your artist which is very, very different from what I had before, which was a little bit more um, general, I would say. And here we can go into the details of what I, I really dreamed about for many years and we can just, in terms of repertoire, we can go in, in what is the most um, sincere and, and, and near to me, deeply. And I think at the end it makes a difference because I think people are feeling it and especially for example with this solo project we 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 were very ambitious somehow to go in that direction it's also with this uh, nature project uh, around environment everything was so i think creative and i have my full creativity with naive and i think that's really makes a difference with the major company with who i worked before um, because i can be totally myself and this is priceless. Now we are going to talk a little bit about the digital activities, which is a specialty of uh, Naive and Believe. Um, classical music uh, has just started to integrate massively uh, the digital uh, tools in order to develop uh, audiences and projects. As far as you are concerned, how do you handle your digital activities and how Naive help you or do for you and your projects? I think the the new things are, of course, the streaming platform and the social media. And both combined, they are massively important for any artist on, of any kind, actually. So classical is not so different in that field. I would say classical is basically growing in the same direction than the other music. It's massively important for us to be present on the streaming platform, first of all, because we need to be visible. Uh, we need to speak to many different countries in the world. Um, and what better than that, than this streaming platform to be seen and to be listened. I mean, and in that sense, I think Believe and Naive are the best team for me because we are working in that direction and we try to, you know, to make things happen and to, to communicate and to be as visible as possible in, in terms of playlists, in terms of, you know, um, special content, we could say, like, like we did, for example, for Apple Music. Um, one year ago, like we, we, we created basically a, a track for Christmas for Apple Music, uh, which was actually very, very successful, I would say. Um, so everything we try to manage and, and create is basically now going in that direction without f to forget in a way that we need to be present also um, in the physical field because it's also also very important to be close to the people and that's basically what we try to do uh, in any kind of music and but especially us i think there is some we try to connect with people first with the music secondly with the message we have so in that sense uh, new medias Social medias also are very important. And also you can get the reaction from people, you know, social medias, you put something, you put a new album, a new LP, immediately you have a massive uh, response. So you can also adjust all your uh, new directions as an artist, which is what we are aiming and what we look for all the time. Um, so it doesn't mean it affects the way we play, but it means we build the programs uh, in a different way, in, and maybe in a different order. And I think it's, it's exceptional, the way we can connect with people. That's the most important thing. In the classical music field, uh, the streaming platforms are taking a more and more important place. Um, we have two categories of platforms. The specialized ones, such as Apple Music Classical, that opened earlier this year, and Presto Classical, for instance. 
And we see also a growing audience on most mainstream platforms such as Amazon or Spotify. What is your vision about those platforms and the audience that are growing on them? My vision is very easy. Um, you know, it's great for us to have this platform who are considering our art somehow um, a little bit deeper. It means that we can go in a little bit more in details with, for example, the titles, the pieces we play, the composers. So you have much more detail. You can, you can have much more content on any track you are listening. Uh, if not, it remains a little bit and it stays a little bit in its track itself, which sometimes, you, you know, that's for some people what missing about the streaming environment somehow. It's like it's less personal because you just feel a track and you listen to it, of course, but you don't have this thing in your hand or you, you don't know who you're talking to or, or you know, I don't know. It's, it's less precise somehow. Uh, but with them, I think they are doing um, an amazing job just to be more specific and to understand um, what you are doing as an artist inside your project. You can describe your, your project, can be, you can go deeper in, into it. Also with uh, the booklet and you, you have access to all, all of that. Um, and also with the quality, we, we, we forget all the time to speak about quality of recording, you know, where sometimes we, we speak a lot about um, um, the quality of, of the TV, for example. TV, it's, it's 4K, it's 6K, it's 8K, it's all that, but the sound is, is going somehow lower and lower. So, and I think to, to feel the classical, to feel any music anyway, we need this energy, we need this quality and we need this amazing HD quality and I think this platform are also going in that direction. Then to speak more about all the generalists like Spotify, like Amazon, like um, I would say, uh, I don't know, Cobas, Deezer. Uh, Deezer, yeah. They mix also um, all sort of music which makes you a possibility, gives you the possibility to be listened in a different way by different audiences and that makes a totally different um, story for us because we are also listened in a different context. Um, so they, they don't play the same role, I would say, but they all converge to our world somehow. I would say this is good if we keep quality, if we go all together in um, development of quality of sound, of quality of content. And I think naive and believe we are, I mean, we really take care of that. We are, we are taking and, and investing a lot of in that direction. Um, and that makes me really happy because I, I just think it has to be connected. Everything has to be connected. As we all know, uh, concert activities are very important in the classical music field. As you mentioned, you play in many countries in the world on a regular basis. How did you see digital tools and digital activities integrate that classical music world? I would say it's m much more visible since the COVID period. Um, of course, we had all to stop. So from that point, I think we felt this change, I would say. And, um, but we already had so many things, especially in the classical with Medici, for example, or with um, different actors of, of this field. And, I think it's, it always had been, but it's a little bit more than every time you play, you have a camera somewhere, <laughs> which, which is nice because somehow people want to see you. So there is always this relationship with the audience that we have to keep. And in that sense, um, live music is amazing because it's also, it's a different process, but it's also the truth of an artist uh, in, in the way he, he, exchange with his audience and I really believe in that. Um, you cannot lie <laughs> when you just play or perform, you, you have to be yourself. Um, so yeah, of course it, it developed a lot uh, and I think it's for the best. I think it will, we, we also, I see it also with the clip for, for the classical music. That's something we go into it where we were totally, it was not at all in, in what we were doing before. So cin cinema, for example, is good, clips, um, live music. All these tools are very important for us to get, again, 
to make a link and, and to get closer to them. Develop your audience and the audience of all the composers you defend on stage. Exactly. So many thanks, uh, Christian Pierre, for this interview. Um, before concluding, can we say a few words about your forthcoming projects, recording, tours, and so on in 2024, for instance? Yeah, so we are working, I'm actually working right now on, on probably the most beautiful love story of all time in classical music which is um, the love and the letters of Clara and Robert Schumann. Um, the story is amazing. I mean, I, I fell in love when I discovered how they, the beauty of their correspondence, for example, the letters they were exchanging for many years, and also how much um, close they were to all the composers of that time, uh, like Mendelssohn, uh, Felix, Fanny Mendelssohn, uh, um, Liszt, Chopin, I mean, all these composers, all these guys were all having dinner all together and exchanging. And on, in this kind of correspondence, you feel them. They are all. So that's, that's fascinating for me. And I commissioned from women composers and, and, and men composers. So they are corresponding to each other in music. Uh, and they will create, so I will create this in, in, in 2024. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is an enormous project. The last love letters is the concerto, and the concerto will be on the CD like the last love letters, and I just recorded it with the Philharmonia Orchestra in London, which, which is amazing and a big achievement, uh, I think, in my life. Um, so I'm very proud to, um, to present that uh, soon. It's a, very, it's a very big adventure for me. And I hope uh, people will follow that. Uh, yeah, because I'm on tour, is it, of course, from 24. Um, I think the premiere will be at, uh, in France, in the Châtelet, in, in London as well. Um, and I'm touring also Australia this summer. For, for, for three weeks in New Zealand then. But I'm very much uh, into that project right now, which, and it makes me uh, very happy, mm -hmm. I have to say. We are very happy too, Christian Pierre. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Okay.